Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the AP Microeconomics series on AP for Teen. Today, we're going to be talking about the supply part of supply and demand. So let's get started. Now last time we were talking about demand, and we talked about the laws of demand and demand charts in general. We also talked about demand, demand, and more demand. This time we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. In this episode, we're going to talk about how supply works from the producer's point of view. So let's get started with the question that always starts a video. What is supply? Well, supply is how much producers want to produce of a certain product at a certain price. And the supply curve displays the relationship between the quantity supplied and the price of that good. It's kind of like demand, how it wanted to display between the quantity demanded and the price of the good. Now, a supply curve kind of looks like this, with the price on one side and the quantity of the product supplied on the other. In this case, we'll talk about limes, since we talked about that last time. Now, normally, it's a straight curve, like you see here. But for the purposes of this example, we're going to use the crooked lines that you see here for this particular supply schedule. Now, as the price of, the, of a certain lime increases, quantity of supplied will increase as well. Now, the laws of the land. The law of supply states that as a price of a good rises, the quantity of that good supplied by producers rises as well, and vice versa. You can see there with the supply chart. Now, the market supply is found by adding the supply of all of the people in the market. So let's take this, the price of a pen for the quantity supplied by James, Andy, Andrew, and John. Now, let's use these prices for example. The quantity supplied will be high for high prices because they want to make sure that they can produce as much to take advantage of the fact that the prices are high. When they're low, they don't want to produce that much. There's no point in producing it there when they can produce something else. Total market supply is simple. You just add them up. 16 plus 13 plus 12 plus 11 is 52 market supply at $1.50 price of a pen. And you can see here, as you go down the row, the total market supply drops even more. That's going to wrap up this episode really quickly. Now, answer in the comment section below, what type of company would have no supply curve at all? There is an example of one. Don't think that there isn't. It's not a trick question. Now, as always, subscribe, leave a comment or like in the sections below if you like the videos or have something to say. Subscribe to make sure that you see all future content. Thank you very much for watching and take care.